Welcome back to Grotzod Plays Minecraft on Giant Monster Games. Today we are doing an interesting little collab with MC Noodler. I'm not sure if you've ever seen. He posts on Reddit a whole bunch. It's very interesting. He does these cool little bite-sized... Looks like I fell in a hole here. Uh, he does some interesting bite-sized little pieces of Minecraft, which I'll link to some in the da description down below, or actually I can post some right here. Look at this. There's a picture of it right here. Um, so he does a bunch of things just like this. He actually did last week, or maybe it was on Monday actually, um, a collab just like this with uh, Spartan Overdrive, which as you may remember we did last episode, we did a collab with him. Anyhow, so he's did the same thing. He has sent me some interesting builds. I don't really know what they are. Well, honestly I do know what they are because I actually recorded this entire episode, or at least two-thirds of the episode, without my mic plugged in. So I'm actually doing a V-over, <laughs> V-over, a voiceover recording right now. Um, so I'm going to be talking through what I've already done. So when I was recording this, so the footage, I don't actually know what these things look like. I just kind of set them up in my uh, creative world. And uh, now we're going to load them in. Here's the first one. It is an awesome little orc house. It's, uh, well, I'd say that's a small little orc house. I think it's really cool. Um, he used acacia wood um, for the roof, so you can get those kind of nice little stair-steppy roofs. Um, inside, as you can see, it's uh, there's no furnishing in the side of these things. So he didn't send any, um, he didn't furnish them, which is totally fine because I'm going to do my own kind of furnishing later on down the road. But uh, the acacia wood, it has uh, the stair steppy kind of look, which I think looks really good. Unfortunately, I think the roofs themselves are a little bit too orange, and I'd rather them be a little bit red. Um, also, I think we're going to change this oak wood out to be um, the spruce wood that we've been using in our, our world. But I like how he has these little horns on the top here as well, which looks super cool. It's totally in line with what I'm already doing. It actually matches up really nicely with the kind of little horn thing we do. That little kind of... I'm sure you've seen it on the end of like all the buildings and stuff. I put this thing on there. And I think this actually works really well with that, especially if I change those um, stairs out to be the wood. Anyhow, backing up. Um, so we're doing this collab. Um, so we're going to be taking this and eventually putting it into my survival world and finding a nice little homes for them. Also, if you've noticed, I haven't been posting as many Minecraft videos lately. That's because I've actually been focusing a lot more on uh, some other video types I'm doing. Oh, we're back to the other building here. So, okay, we're taking a look at the bigger building, and it is an orc longhouse. So it's kind of the same design as the other one, except for it's substantially longer. Um, and it has uh, a kind of a stone front build onto it rather than the kind of oak wood front that he has front of the uh, oak wood front that he has on the other building. Um, also, this one has a chimney, which is very cool. I like the way this chimney looks. One thing I really liked about all of these builds, and that I'm gonna probably incorporate in my builds moving forward, is how he uses just a variety of materials when it comes to the stone to make it look like they're not like these perfect pristine. They're kind of building with kind of mishmashy pieces. Um, here's the inside. I I know I remember talking about in the video that I didn't record any audio that I was gonna put some torches in here because the ends look like they might spawn monsters, and in my survival world. I really don't want to have monsters spotting inside my buildings. Um, also, I was kind of talking about maybe making this into like a potion room in the actual survival world, because um, I want to get potions brewing at some point, uh, because I've been slowly working on building an XP farm, and I'd also like to actually work on making um, a potion uh, farm, an auto auto brewer probably, something similar to what uh, Etho has going on in his channel. So um, yeah, also I think these acacia doors look really neat. Um, but I think I eventually changed them out to a different style just because they're not, uh, they're not quite red enough. Um, and here's the last one I think we're about to do. This is a tower. So this looks, uh, this is my favorite build out of all three of these ones that he sent me. Um, just because I, I can foresee, I can think of like five or six areas where this exact build can go and just fit in perfectly. So it's kind of like a, a lookout tower or something that they would have in case people are going to come invade them. So on top of mountains and stuff like that. Um, and I absolutely, um, when we have a chance to get a look at it, I love the horns on the top. It looks like a big helmet or something like that, or I don't know, maybe tusks. I don't know. It's kind of, it looks very cool. I am a very big fan of it. Again, the roofs on these things look really nice with the acacia wood because they have this nice stair step and they look nice and... Um, yeah, nice that stair-stepping look. So we're going to go up to the top of this thing, and what we're going to do is take a look out and see how this looks. Um, there's no railing here, so, you know, you can't... Um, <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous. Um, the the middle posts look cool, but I think they block the view too much, because, I mean, if you look, I've had to move out onto the outside log in order to actually see outside, so... 
Um, hey, look at how much our world has grown. This thing is grow. This world has grown quite a bit. So that's going to be all three of the structures. I'm going to go ahead and throw these into our survival world, where we'll see where we put them. At this point, I have placed all three of the structure blocks, and I'm in creative because you can only load structure blocks or place structure blocks if you're in creative mode. So we're going to load up the first one here. I've already set it all up. And here it is. So we're posting it right beside the kind of orc cave here where we're going to be doing the thing of death, which in fact is almost done actually, but that's not going to be shown off this episode. I just want to say straight out. Um, I was talking here about how we're going to make it so this dirt behind the house actually will connect the house. But again, we're not going to do that this very second. It'll be done by the end of the episode, but we're not going to do it right now. I think we're actually going to fly off and load the other ones in. So we can just load them all in and see where they are. And then we will... Um, go back and we'll actually start editing them. So the next tower is or the tower is going to be up on top of this hill. So this is what I was talking about where you can like see easy places where they would be placed. So this is up top of this mountain so they can look out where um, people are like going to be attacking them from. Um, looks like we ended up killing a sheep here, <laughs> which is okay. It happens. Um, and yeah, so this one here has been placed as well. Um, I'm kind of talking about some of the cleanup we need to do. I need to make it so it looks like it's actually stone rather than just kind of this mix mash stone base they put in there. It's hard to think back of like what I was doing and saying while I was doing this because um, I recorded this like a day ago and that's actually how I found out that my mic wasn't working <laughs> is I went back to like look at the last things I was talking about um, so I could pick up and start saying okay this is what we need to be going on about and then I realized that I have zero audio so that's why I'm doing a voiceover recording. Um, so yeah, so this is where this one's going to be placed. I like to tell how the horns are facing uh, f this direction rather than facing outward because you'll actually see them more from more places in the, the actual like um, orc, orc town we have going here. Um, Valley o Death, I think is what I keep referring to it to, or Orkington, I think was the original name I had for it. But um, yeah. Okay, we're going to zip off to the next placement, which is actually going to be placed, the longhouse is going to be placed in between the kind of farming area and the town area. Not really much of a town, really. Um, and I've decided we're going to place it here because I think it would be a nice divider for one. And two, there's nothing really placed here yet, and I think this would be a really good... Um, a really good way of connecting both sides of this build together. So um, I load this one up here. And this one here actually needs a fair amount of terraforming. As you can see, the path is like now like two and a half blocks or two blocks higher than it needs to be. So I'll have to actually cut all that out. Um, and then we'll also have to, um, you can't see it from here, but the like the path all the way around it is all, or the hill all the way around it is all just flat and crappy now looking. So I have to fix that. Um, why am I going inside here? Oh, I was talking about uh, torches. And I think I was like, okay, I need to put torches in here right now. Otherwise, I'm going to come back in <laughs> in survival, and uh, there's going to be zombies and stuff in here, and I'm going to have to deal with them, or creepers, and that would be worst-case scenario. Also, something else I want to point out is these floors, I think, look really cool. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take these floors and add them to the, like, town hall build that I've been pretending to be working on, or if I'm going to um, take the floors from the town hall build and put them into here. So I, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to figure out one of the two ways once I actually get around to actually um, doing the interiors of these buildings. Um, anyways, I'm going to actually cut it here, and I'm going to go and start making some altars once I get back into creative world. So let me jump into creative, and we'll be right back. Okay, I am in creative now, or no, sorry, I'm in survival now, and I totally just realized that the recording picked up all of the audio from Minecraft, just not my mic, um, mostly because my mic wasn't plugged in, but that's a whole different story. So I'm moving forward with uh, replacing all of the wood with the spruce wood we've been using, which um, you don't see it yet, but in a second here you'll see it, and I think it actually looks a lot better with the spruce wood, because I mean... I say a lot better, not because this isn't good looking, but because it matches all the other buildings and all the kind of other stuff we've already been working with. So it, it matches everything else in our build. So as you can see, um, this is the kind of look we're trying to go for here. Um, I know I work on this for a little bit here. I might just time lapse this. And then I eventually get into doing the roof. And the roof on this thing was giving me all kinds of problems because I didn't really like the uh, big, bulky you know, full block look of the the wool, but I liked the color of the wool. Um, so I tried a whole bunch of different ways. I tried um, having full blocks with acacia wood on top, and I tried to like do a mix of both. Um, and I just, it wasn't working, just like absolutely wasn't working. So eventually I ended up um, cutting the recording 
and going and just working off camera for a while to see until I can find something, which we'll actually see here in a bit. I'll actually, um, I ended up getting my audio recording, audio equipment back, my my audio equipment back? No, what am I talking about? Now I get my uh, mic plugged back in um, by the time I actually go to record that bit where I say, hey, this is what I've done, which I'll let future Grotzod explain, which I guess at this point, because I'm doing a voiceover, is actually past Grotzod, explain uh, what I did and why I did it. Um, but the long and short is it took me quite a while to figure out how I was going to make everything work because I was just, just having such a hard time making it look like it belonged. So yeah, so I'm going to throw it over to Grotzad, and he will finish off the rest of this video for you guys. Hey look, my audio is working again. How fantastic is that? Okay, I have went through and I have, um, I just, I just opened my world here after I solved my problem. I, uh, I went through and I've changed up these builds now. I hope you understand what I was explaining when I was just kind of doing a voiceover. Um, it's not quite how I normally put my videos together. So, a little bit different today. So what I did is I basically just put in the red roof here. I, I'm not as big a fan of the, like, really blockiness of these. I wish there was stair blocks, because I really liked the way the last one looked. But I think it's going to work. This is the... I don't think it's working very well on this building, but the, like, the tower, or the guard tower, I guess, um, watchtower, and the longhouse over there, I, I think it works quite well on. Uh, for the roof, I ended up replacing uh, this with a log, because it's and then um, doing these. Uh, he had these actually done in stone, like uh, cobblestone and stone brick, and I just kind of replaced them with the wood because it kind of resembles this idea here. So I think that matches that quite well. I tried putting also like a log coming up the center here, and it looked really weird. Um, but I think it works. I didn't do anything with the inside of these, so they are. Um, you know, they're still their thing, you know, they're, they're kind of un, unfurnished. I will eventually come back and furnish them with stuff. But, um, yeah, for now, I think I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I really like how this turned out. I also took the time here and uh, ripped out... Oh, i got some grass growing here. No. No! Oh, well. I'll have to come back and fix this. I ended up cutting out all of the grass and then putting in just regular dirt because we eventually don't want this to be... Um, grassy at all. We want it all to be kind of dirt, just like it is down here, because I like the look of this a lot better for kind of our orcish landscape than um, grass. Um, let's take a look at the other buildings. We're going to fly over. I'm just flying around. I also finished up some of these paths here. I'm just in creative. Uh, it's a lot easier to kind of see these builds in creative than it is for me to try and show them off to you in my survival with my, um, with yeah, with survival. So as you see, I put the path comes in, kind of comes up the stairs. I can actually fly down here and show you what it's like to walk up here. So um, we kind of walk past. There's now the path that connects to the blacksmith. I might actually change the roof of the blacksmith out to be more like these buildings. I, I kind of like kind of like the roof that came out of uh, the longhouse specifically. Um, I think it matches the style a bit better than this. This kind of really does look kind of like a European style build. And, um, well, we're not really European. Well, unless orcs are European. I don't think they are. Um, zipping up here, as you can see. So we've changed the door. The door's on this side. I opened up this just in case I do want to put, like, chests in here or some beds or furnish this. Um, yeah, if one, if one day if I decide I want to kind of do that. Oh, I'm missing a ladder here. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's just grab this and, and put a ladder there. Done. Problem solved. And you come up. Uh, there was originally also uh, pillars in the middle of these, and I think they looked really good, but they really blocked the view, so you couldn't really see out. So I thought I'd just kind of remove them so you can actually see out. So oh, there's the longhouse. Um, we'll fly over there in a second. But uh, yeah, I think you can actually see it a lot better. Um, the more and more I see this back area here, the more I'm like, ah, oh, I should have built over here. This is a really cool looking area as well. So we may have to start expanding out into this area soon. We'll have to put some kind of uh, path that goes up. Um, yeah, some path that comes up and then we can start building out here as well because I think eventually we'll run out of space back here without... because th that area over there, I mean, obviously it's a gray mass for you guys, but that area over there is not really that interesting. It's kind of just a couple high hills and that's really it. Um, mind you, again, I say this, but we haven't even done anything over here other than, you know, started a mine and we put a little bridge and a lava pit. Um, we have lots of stuff that we can do. I just need to get around to actually doing it. So let me um, quickly fly out here. We're just going to break this. 
and then we're going to replace it. Eh, there we go. And I'll kind of show you what I did out here. So um, I just kind of, again, changed the to darker wood because I thought the darker wood kind of matches my build a little bit better. Um, the roof on here, I uh, put the red wool in, and then he had um, the kind of cobblestone, like this stuff kind of style coming down, and I just changed it to wood. So there's a little bit more differentiation between the horns coming out the side and the actual centerpiece here. So it's a little bit more distinguished as you are far away and you look at it. So you can actually uh, tell that there's a different, uh, there's a separation between these and the actual top there. Um, other than that, I didn't really change much outside here. I added some torches so mobs don't spawn and added a couple little kind of um, fences because I've been kind of putting fences to kind of break up, kind of make it a little bit more chaotic in areas. So I kind of added those in. And um, yeah, I, this is actually, out of the three buildings I was sent, this is easily my favorite. I, I just think this looks super cool. And what we're probably going to do is put a couple more of these. We're going to put like one down at that end of the valley, uh, maybe one on top of this mountain, um, probably even one up here somewhere um, on this other, because this overlooks the birch forest. This is where we come out when we go down to the spider farm. So we might put a bunch of these up so then you would know kind of like you're coming into this area and these are like outposts that are viewing where people could be attacking from. Um, orcs would have those. That sounds logical for orcs. So I think we're also going to put a giant gate right here one of these days. Um, and then maybe a bridge that goes across to this landmass because this then goes out uh, into the actual world. So that would be kind of a, a cool way of actually getting into our orc valley, our valley o' death. Um, flying over to the longhouse here. Um, you can get a nice view. You don't ever see this when I'm I'm in you know survival mode because I don't ever like fly around obviously. So this is kind of a nice little kind of overview of what we've been building and what we do. It's not we don't have a ton of stuff yet, but you know it's slowly getting there. I really need to just take a week and finish this guy, um, expand it, make it bigger, um, use some of these as inspiration because I think both of these uh, two builds, so like the the ones that were sent in from Noodler. And the stuff sent from Spartan, I think, looks way better than what I was kind of working on. So I might just take some inspiration from that. Um, and then this building, I think this also looks just fantastic. I love the way uh, the red and the dark oak, everything. Dark oak, spruce. It's a whole, completely different type of tree. Um, it's not even in the same kind of tree family even. Um, yeah, so they kind of did the same thing. I put the logs with the little horn doodaddies. Um, I didn't really change anything else on this, actually, other than just change out this wood, put in the red wool, and uh, put some kind of these on top again to kind of add that kind of randomness that I've been kind of wanting on top of roofs, just to, so it doesn't look all smooth, mostly because we can't have stairs. Um, yeah, looks like it's almost time for the sun to set here. I may actually just game mode it and change it to its day again. Um, as much as I liked the acacia doors, because we had acacia doors in um, all of the builds, I ended up putting in spruce wood doors because I didn't think it, the color didn't really match it anymore, so I just kind of changed it to this. Um, yeah, again, inside I didn't change anything in here. Um, again, I just did the roof um, and the walls, but I think it looks really good. I think what we're going to actually do in here, um, if I can make it work, I'm assuming I can, is turn this into our uh, potion area maybe? I don't know if it's enough room, actually, now that I think about it. We may have to make another building similar to this somewhere else, and we're actually going to turn that into our potion shop, or potion area, um, because I would like to get some potions going, um, largely because, let me actually just go here, just so we don't have to deal with nighttime. Um, the reason why I want to do potions is because that's what I recently textured! That's the new texture, is um, potions. So I did water bottles. Um, I did our Dragon's Breath here, um, Splash Potions, obviously all the, the color potions as well, um, which was a little bit of a challenge because I didn't quite understand how it worked until I started working on it, and uh, and then I finally figured out how it works afterwards. So um, yeah, so we have our Lingering Potion, which I'll throw on the ground here. Um, so it has these little wisps that come out the top, so I thought that looked really neat. Um, our Splash Potion... Um, which has these little handles so you can like grab it and throw it and then just a regular potion bottle um, is just well it's just a bottle um, and I'll just kind of show you what these look like if they're enchanted or they have actual actual active potions so you I mean this this part's colorful 
Um, then again, some of the other ones I'll throw on the ground here. So this is what the dragon's breath looks like. I wanted to make the bottle a little bit different. So it's kind of like a taller bottle with a fatter bottom than what these guys look like. Um, there's also the XP bottle I did, which I don't see in here. Um, also empty bottles, which I can throw it here as well. Look at that. So empty bottles, you know, you can see through them, which I think is one of the coolest features. I was actually thinking that I may, oops, um, I may make it so there's no cork in this bottle. Um, so it's like a, just an open, empty bottle. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I mean, you guys can, oops, um, you guys can give me your feedback on that if you guys think that's a cool idea. Oh, there it is. And then also the XP bottle, which um, I wanted to do similar, but again, I made it smaller, and it has that kind of green out rim, kind of like the actual XP bottles in the vanilla texture pack. So this has been the new texture I've added. I, it took a lot of took a lot of time to do this, uh, but I think it turned out quite well. And um, yeah, I quite enjoy doing textures. Um, I don't think I spent as much time as I probably could on them, but uh, yeah. Anyhow. This has been this entire episode. Um, just as I said before, uh, there's not going to be as many Minecraft videos because just on the Giant Monster Games YouTube channel, I'm focusing a little bit more on doing um, other content that uh, kind of has a little bit more traction. So there will be still Minecraft videos that pop up every so often, maybe every two weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe once a month. But they're not going to be as common as the series has been. Um, we will slowly progress doing the things we are doing, but it will not be at as fast of rate. Um, yeah. Anyways, that has been, or this has been, I should say, not that has been. This has been Grotzad Plays Minecraft. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Orcs Rule! Wahahaha! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Noodler at his Reddit page. I've provided a link below in the description. And also check out Spartan Overdrive's channel because he also did an awesome collab with Noodler as well. All the links are in the description below.